spinach and kale. Here it is. Brain juice. Preview. Good morning, students. This is topic 15, video D, empirical formula from combustion reactions. But chemists don't always measure percent composition data directly. Chemistry homework is complete. It is time to train. Hello world, it's your boy Jenny and Finn, I return with yet another video, and in this video the topic is machines. Are machines useless? Do they have their place when it comes to improving your fitness? So in this video, as you can see, I did a full body machine workout, started off with leg presses, moved on to chest press, some rows for back, I did some curls, did pull downs, full body machine workout. So as strength training began to be more popular and was promoted more as a health modality in the 1950s and the 1960s, that is where machines had their inception. And equipment manufacturers sought to develop machines because they could be self-explanatory and they can provide very ease of use. Also, they can be less intimidating, guys. When you grab some free weights or when you go into a gym and you see a whole bunch of free weights, you pretty much have to have done your research. You have to know what you are about to get yourself into because if you don't, then you're going to be doing God knows what and that can increase your risk of getting injured. So that is the main reason behind the uh, inception or development and manufacturing machines simply because they provide ease of use, guys. They give you the instructions on how to use the equipment so that you can make those gains. Because if you don't, then <laughs> you're gonna be doing some weird stuff with those dumbbells if you haven't done your research. Now with that being said, this leads to my next statement. This ease of use comes with the price that you pay. With these fixed isolated machines, they provide you with a fixed range of motion. And as a result, there's no need or very little to no need of stabilization. Your proprioception is not needed because the machines are set with the fixed bar path. And all you really have to do is just push or pull that handle. Now, this can be good and bad. This can be good for beginners or elderly or individuals who lack the neural drive with good motor patterns to be able to stabilize and handle the weight but this can be bad for someone like an athlete who needs to further their development and balance muscle coordination and mobility you need that proprioceptive challenge from dumbbells and barbells you do not get that with machines so that's the caveat there that's the detriment now you have Phil Heath, six-time Mr. Olympia, whose job is predicated upon aesthetics. Phil Heath doesn't care about muscle balance, coordination, agility, speed, or quickness. All he cares about are the gains. That's it. Just the muscular development and being lean and having definition, etc., etc., etc. 
On the other hand, let's take an athlete such as uh, Odell Beckham, whose job is predicated upon performance, guys. In real life, the body is required to stabilize itself while performing activities. So he needs balance. He needs muscle coordination. He needs mobility so that he can do what he does on the so field. So with that being said, if you are a sports athlete, then I recommend that you minimize your use of fixed isolated machines and you maximize your use of free weight movements with barbells, dumbbells, ropes, and even cables allow for a much more natural bar path because that's all going to allow you to activate your proprioception and the more proprioceptive stimuli you get, the more improvement that you get in balance, muscle coordination, mobility, speed, agility, quickness, all of that good stuff that's conducive to your performance as an athlete. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, are machines just as good, if not better than free weight movements such as barbells and dumbbells? And I'm going to make my opinion based off of the research and the facts that we have. Now, according to the research, hormone levels are spiked much higher during free weight movements such as squats versus fixed isolated movements such as machines. Growth hormone, testosterone, those are anabolic hormones that help facilitate anabolism and muscle growth and development, guys. So if you can spike higher anabolic hormones, then you should clearly go with the um, exercise modality that's going to allow you to do so. And also, I'd like to state that when it comes to free weight movements, you require more stability. Therefore, you recruit much more muscles to help stabilize the movement while you're performing it. This can lead to more muscle groups being recruited. And if you can recruit more muscle groups, then you can activate more muscle groups. And if you can activate more muscle groups, then you can damage more muscle groups. And if you can damage more muscle groups, then that leads to faster muscular development, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to render free weight superior to machines. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't make any gains with machines. I'm just giving you guys my opinion that is based off of factual information. Now, machines do have their place as some machines are manufactured in such a way that they allow you to isolate certain muscle groups that you normally can't target or is very difficult to target with free weight movements. Um, if you just feel like you'd like to take out stability and remove it from the equation and really just focus on your contractions, machines have their place for that. Uh, if you would like some more variety in your training, machines have their place for that. But anyways, to conclude this video, I believe that majority of lifters should be performing exercise with free weights and they can throw in machines here and there to isolate muscle groups that they may not be able to target with free weights. And also, if they personally feel like they just don't want to lift with free weights due to the lack of interest then so be it you can still reap the benefits of muscular development just not to the extent of free weights in my opinion and also you would not reap the benefits of stability balance coordination etc 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 but at the end of the day the decision is up to you just like the hostages say you can do whatever the F you want to do. <laughs> but this is your boy Jalen Fit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you watched the end of the video. Please give me a like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. It really helps. I appreciate it. And I'm out. Peace. I'm the captain now. I'm the chosen one. Yeah.